a piece of white paper. This is 12 by 12 inches. A pencil. I will be drawing in marker so you guys can see it better. A ruler for making your straight lines. Something to trace a circle with, either a circle stencil, a bottle cap, a roll of tape would even work. You will need a cup of water, a paper towel, and a variety of brushes. Temper paint cake palettes. I prefer these to watercolor paint sets because these last a lot longer. They're just like liquid temper paint that you would get in a bottle. All you have to do is add water to it with your brush. And here's what the cake looks like. Let's get started. Get your paper and your pencil and your circle stencil. I will be drawing with black marker so you guys can see better on the camera. But if you draw in pencil, you can erase it. Take your circle stencil or bottle cap, something to trace a circle with, and place it at the top center of your page. Then we're gonna hold the stencil still and trace a circle, okay? Now we're going to draw a circle here. Measure about four fingers from the bottom of the page and put your circle there. Trace a second circle. Do the same thing on the left side of your page. Put your hand down, measure four fingers up from the bottom of the page. Put your circle stencil down. Trace another circle. If you have a circle stencil and it looks like this, you can use the straight edge to make your straight lines in the next step or you can use a ruler if you have one, or just freehand it. So I'm gonna connect with a slanted line. I'm going horizontal line going left to right. And another diagonal line here. These are going to be the three primary colors. We're gonna put yellow at the top, red on the left, and blue on the right. Now we're going to draw the secondary circles. So take your circle stencil again, and place it about the same distance from these two circles, like right in the middle. Hold it still. Do the same thing over here. Try to place it in the middle. And one at the bottom. Now we're gonna connect these three circles with a dashed line or a dotted line. So you're gonna pick up your pencil or marker every so often and make a dotted dashed line like this. That's to show that they are the secondary colors. If you're drawing with marker, make sure you're using a permanent marker because when we add the paint, you don't want the marker to get wet and smudge. Washable markers will smudge if you wet them. That's why I'm using a permanent marker or just use your pencil. Now it's time to get the paint and start painting. For this project, I'm only going to use this palette because I'm only using the primary colors, yellow, red, and blue. I'm gonna mix my own green. So I won't need this palette. I'm wetting my brush in the water cup, wiping it on the edge. First, I'm going to start with yellow. So I go to the temper cake that is yellow, swish around the brush. I get enough paint on my brush. I'm going to paint the top circle yellow. 
Yellow is a primary color. That's one of the first colors. Try to stay in the lines. I messed up a little bit right there. It's okay. All right, now I'm going to clean my brush because I don't want to put the yellow brush in the next color. So I'm going to rinse it out, swish it around, wipe it on the edge. Don't tap it because it'll splatter water all over the place. Just wipe it on the edge. Now I'm ready for the next color, which is red. I'm going to swish around the brush on the red. This circle will be painted red. Now it's time to clean my brush. Next color will be blue right here, bottom right. The primaries are connected with the solid line, the solid triangle. It's okay if you go out of the line a little bit. I did it again here, that's all right. But notice how the marker did not smudge or bleed. I'm done with the three primaries, yellow, red, and blue. Now it's time to make my secondary colors, the colors that these two make. So yellow and red are gonna make orange, yellow and blue will make green, and down at the bottom, red and blue are going to make purple or violet. So I'm going to mix them. First, I will need yellow. I'm going to put some yellow here and I'm going to paint the whole circle yellow first. Clean your brush. Going to get some red paint, not too much red. And mix it right together like that. A little more yellow. It's starting to make orange. A little bit more red. You kind of have to play around with it and add a little bit more of each color as needed. Next, let's make green. So I'm going to take some blue first. I'm gonna paint the whole thing blue. Looks like I smudged some paint here. Yep. So watch your hand when you're painting, but that's all right. It doesn't have to be perfect. I'm just experimenting with colors right now. I'm learning about the color wheel. So we have blue, now we have to add some yellow to it. You get your yellow. You're gonna need a lot of yellow on that brush. All right, I'm gonna add it. You know, add some more yellow. up really well. We got a yellow green color. And a little bit more blue. 
Notice I clean my brush every time. like a blue green needs a little more yellow all right we made a greenish color now let's go to the bottom we're going to mix these two primaries right here to make purple violet. So first I'm going to put some red. Cleaning, cleaning my brush. Make some blue, a lot of blue. purple right away. Excellent. All right. So we made the secondary colors by mixing the primaries that are next to it. So that's how the color wheel works. So in between yellow and blue, you have green, because mixing those together will give you green. Between blue and red, you have purple, because mixing these two make that color. And between yellow and red, you have orange. So the primaries are yellow, blue, red, secondary colors, orange, green, purple. You can label them if you want, 